Hello and welcome to episode 28 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how I use an application called Drafts with my Evernote. Now, uh, sorry, I just had to show you my home screen there because I'm very proud of my James Bond home screen and uh, for those of you who have been following my series you probably already know that I am a huge James Bond fan. Okay let's get back into this. Uh, so drafts and Evernote. Now there's a reason, a very good reason why I use drafts <coughs> to quickly capture my notes in Evernote and also to add to notes in Evernote and that is a problem that I have with Evernote and iOS. For me Evernote on iOS, it's not fast enough to quickly capture an idea or a note that I have on my mind. So the process I have is I have to click on the icon and, and then I have to click on the text. Um, and for me, that is not fast enough. For some reason, uh, I'm using an, uh, an iPhone 6. Now, of course, maybe the iPhone 7 is much faster and I will find that out in the next couple of weeks or so. But for me, that is just not fast enough. There's too many buttons for me to capture, uh, to press. I would much, pr the other problem I have with Evernote on iOS is that wherever I leave it, so in this case, I've left it at shortcuts. Um, before I, I actually started recording this, this screen that you see right now is where I was. And I have to click on back and then I have to click on text and I have to, it's just, there's too many buttons pushing of buttons to actually uh, get to capturing a note quickly. So my way around that is to use an application called Drafts. Well, when you click on Drafts, it opens up with the keyboard and you're ready to type. It's straight there. There's no messing around. There's no other buttons to press. You just basically click on Drafts, bang, you're in and you're ready to type. So that is one, this is the reason why it's the, for me anyway, it's the fastest way to get a note into Evernote. Now, of course, for those of you who are using iOS 10, yes, of course, we have the Evernote uh, widget, which of course I can just click on that, uh, click on the bottom there and it will give me a note. But again, to me, that is just too slow. Um, Sitting here at my desk and doing this, it doesn't feel that slow. But trust me, when you're on a bus or when you're on a subway and you're changing buses or changing trains, you just do not want that. That You need something much faster. So for me, Evernote uh, to Drafts is the solution to this. Uh, I've been using Drafts, I think, maybe four years, but certainly from pretty much when it first came out anyway. And Drafts very quickly got into my dock at the bottom of my phone because... Honestly, I don't know how I would live without drafts. So let me go into drafts. And if I show you uh, my setup here, I've got my frequent ones here, which are all the um, sort of like notes that I would send to various applications uh, in my frequent one. But the one I want to focus on today is actually the Evernote one. Now, let's say, for example, I want to create a general note. So from this screen, I would say this is a test. And I'm going to put this as a test too um, because I've, in my practice for this video, um, I actually created a note. So um, this, is a, this is test two. If I click on that, I can then click on general note. And within a few seconds, it's gone. Now, uh, I know for you, you might be thinking, well, how, why is that faster? The thing is, this is faster because I can capture the note. If I don't have time to send the note anywhere, it will get saved into this section here, which is all the notes that I've actually had. And, and there's quite a few in there, which is archived. Um, all my archived ones are in there. But it would go into my inbox if I didn't do anything with the note. And then later, when I do have time, I can actually go back into it. So let's go into uh, Evernote now. And you'll see that if I go into my notes, just give it a couple of seconds. Um, if I go into my notes and for some reason now <laughs> there we go this oh <laughs> oh dear I'm having problems with Evernote today honestly that does not normally happen uh, and now th this is another problem I have with Evernote is it takes too long to actually open now I know I'm criticizing Evernote a bit here but please bear with me um, 
it's not actually a, a big deal to me because as I say, I'm using drafts so I know the notes will get there. So there you go anyway, that note that I just created in drafts is there. This is test two. Before I had this is a test uh, when I was doing a little bit of practice for this. Okay, so let's go in. How are we going to create, uh, how are we going to set up your drafts for Evernote? Okay, so the first thing is you go into settings, which is down at the bottom right hand corner, and you go down and says configure accounts. So we configure Evernote, you click on that and it will ask you to configure it. Mine is actually already configured, um, but you just link it and it will then set up your Evernote. You put in your login details, etc. That's the first thing you do. Next, what we do is if I show you my general note, actually no, because general notes, yeah, okay, I'm going to show you my general note. So if we go into general note, what we've got at the bottom top here is general note. I can change the icon to any color I want. Um, I can actually change the icon and we've got loads of different icons here, hundreds of them actually now, which is fantastic. I don't want red, I want green. In the step section, which is the key part, what you need to do is you you add the task which is create the pen prepend to notes on Evernote. Now bear with me here because this might seem a bit complex, but honestly it really isn't. What you need to do for a general note like this, you keep the title in the the square brackets, uh, which will be done as default. Notebook is in my default notebook, which is at inbox. And then tags, I don't usually put tags in this anyway, so that's done. That's just the basic note. Now, if I take you into another note that I have, for example, Word of the Day. Now, Word of the Day is actually set up for a specific note. So if I go into this, what you see is the title of the note is Word of the Day. Now, you need to make sure that the title that you write in drafts is exactly the same as the title on the note. Your notebook is exactly the same notebook that you want your note that the note is contained in. So in this case, my word of the day note is contained in my general reference work folder at notebook. And tags, you need to make sure that the tags are exactly as the tag says in the note. Then we've got write type, create, prepend or append. Now in this case, what I'm doing is I'm adding a word to a list. So uh, this is a append, which means that it goes to the bottom of the list. Prepend means that it goes to the top of the list and create just means it would create a new note. Strongly recommend that you leave content as draft because that's like a code for drafts. And again, it's contained within the double um, the double open bracket. OK, so that's basically how we set up the note. Um, and to create a new note in uh, to create a new action in Evernote uh, in drafts is you click on the plus sign in the top right hand corner, create action. And you can name this whatever you like. So I'm going to call this test. Um, I then click on that and I can choose my Evernote logo. Evernote is green. And then we go into steps. And you have to go down to where it says Evernote. So here we go, Evernote there. And this is create, create append, prepend to notes on Evernote. Time, you can change that to whatever note you want. Now the note, if you want it to add to a note, then it needs to, as I say, to be the name, exact name of the note itself. It needs to be in the correct notebook and it needs to have the correct tags as it has on the notes. And then you can choose create, prepend or append. Again, leave the content as draft and uh, whatever words that you have written will be what gets sent to Evernote. Now, as I said before, I've been using this for about four years and I can honestly say I have never had a fail ever in that four years. Drafts is super stable and probably the, the, the mo one of the most important applications that I have on all my iOS devices, whether it's my iPhone or whether it's my iPad. Okay, I hopefully you found this little episode useful. Uh, that's Evernote and Drafts working together. Uh, what I would do if you want more information on this and you want a little bit more uh, draft specific tutorials, then I strongly recommend that you watch the David Sparks Drafts video series. Uh, it has all sorts of information, how to set up the tasks and all the various things that you can do with drafts. I will put a link in the notes section below so you can get a good idea of what's going on there. And 
I strongly recommend that you do go and watch that. Okay, hopefully you found this episode useful. Please join me again in episode 29. And for the rest of it, I just wish you all a very, very productive week. <laughs>